Now this engine wants to rev. It just wants to. See, it dies. I don't know. I don't know why it's doing that. No CEL, nothing. My idle problem, you know, that it dies on the stop. This is not the throttle body that I am going to use. That's just only to break it in. So what I'm just gonna do is, I'm just gonna recheck the throttle position sensor just to see it's within. Remember, this is the one that I am going to use and I calibrated this one. I made a blog about this one. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna recheck that one just to see. Man, this thing really comes in handy. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna piggyback this. This one, if you're ever gonna make one, I put a heat shrink on the pins. That way, when it's joined together, it's not gonna be touching one another. Yeah. So it's only the center is the one that I had uh, this red wire. Because that's the only one that we are going to use. Double check, I'm gonna double check, make sure I got everything all pinned correctly. Okay. So one will be on the ground. We're simply going to check for voltage. I want you guys to see it. Yeah. Yeah, you can actually see it. Ignition is in the on position. All right, it's 0.5. Is it both DC? Yeah, 0.5 and then wide open 4.9. So it should be at uh, a little bit higher, but it should be 0.5. 4.6 Yeah, uh, it looks okay, but It could go down a little more But I'm not gonna mess around with the throttle position. That's this is this thing is set up uh, For snow white Yeah So I'm just gonna if I ever used uh, my Honda s300 onto here no way I can. Oh, we just need to, uh, never mind. But anyway, so that's what we're getting. 4.6. Yeah, maybe this has something to do with it. But afterwards, I am going to uh, warm it up. And then I'm going to uh, disconnect the idle control valve. And then I'm going to set the, uh, the idle RPM. Yeah, I don't see any... Uh blocking as far as like the gasket and everything this is a working uh, intake manifold combo with the throttle body before never had any problem but being 
when I check the uh, calibration it might have something to do with it so we're gonna put this bad boy on we'll see if that one will make any difference at all okay I gotta fix the uh, this one here man I hope this thing works Connected, maybe up. Up to the end, throttle positions in. And I have water. Mm. I am going to uh, warm up the motor and hopefully the fan turns on. I know I've heard it uh, turn on when I was driving it on a surface road, but so far here I could not make it to work. <sighs> Maybe there's air in the system. I don't know. But uh, I'll go. We'll see how it goes. I, yeah, I also changed the... Uh, uh, and uh, put on, on a working sensor also. Hopefully it works. That way I can eliminate the other one. Whether it turns on or not. What I'm gonna do, just to eliminate this, uh, the cap that I thought, I was thinking that it's leaking through the gasket. And that's fully locked on right there. So I don't know where else could it be. You will see, sometimes you will see could be coming from here I know it leaked here before so I think I'm thinking of putting a, a napkin tape a napkin on here so that way I know if it uh, spewed over when it boils then if it's wet then the leak is coming from here that's you know that's the last time it was smoking so let's give it a try I'm gonna let it warm up and then uh, hopefully the, uh, the fan will turn on. So we'll see how it goes. I put some uh, napkins, paper towel, on the water neck. not dying anymore it's holding on to about 500 stop yeah right on man <laughs> all right 
So it looks like it is the throttle position sensor because it didn't die on me. It, it It's coming down. So I am going to check the uh, the idle without the IACB anyway, just to completely eliminate that. Man, this thing, it rips. That's five grand already. So I'm breaking it in. Go to a higher RPM, then let go the gas. Let it close. I only take this up to third gear. I haven't done fourth gear yet. Now let's go back. See, it's not dying anymore. Yes. Another one bite the dust. It comes down, then it looks like the IACV is compensating it. Normal operating temperatures, and hopefully, we'll see. All right, <laughs> no more smoke. Hmm. Okay, it's not wet or anything, so it, it looks like it is coming from the hose. Do I have water? Yeah. The fan kicked in. Woo! Yeah, finally. All right. Okay, I've, I've fixed two things today. One is the idle problem that I have, the coolant. And well, three things now the fan turned on. All right, so I think it looks like it's the sensor, it was acting up on me. All right, another good day, another good weekend. Yes, pretty much like all the bugs. Hopefully, there's more that will show that way. I can. Uh, what do you call that? Attend it to, fix it as much as I can, and she is ready. I think she will, or she will be ready. Oh, I gotta, I gotta put a, a mesh on that turbo. So uh, it's a good thing. Good news. All right. Uh, maybe when I get back, I'm gonna drive it farther out. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Look at that. The fan is kicking. Good, 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 good. Damn good. All right. Hope you guys like this one, and I'll see you guys back. Bye, everyone. It's a good day indeed. And look at this. Look at the look at the weather. It clears out. Hot dang. Yeah, baby. All right.